Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be showing you how to upgrade the air intake system on a 1999 Ford F-350 equipped with the 7.3 liter V8 Power Stroke Diesel. This video is currently sponsored by GSTPAutoParts.com. An affiliated link to the air intake will be included in the video description. With every sale from using the link, I do get a bit of cutback to help keep my channel going. This is a very affordable upgrade to the stock airbox, improving flow and adding a cleaner look to your engine bay. First is opening the hood. In order to remove the factory airbox, we are required to loosen the two gear clamps. A standard screwdriver or socket can be used for this. One gear clamp will be located by the firewall and the other one is located at the plastic airbox. Once both have been loosened, the rubber intake tube can be removed. There are two snap clips on the airbox. They'll be located at the intake tube side. One is at the front and one is at the back. Unclip these and then lift out the airbox. Lift out the air filter now. Remove the two bolts inside the airbox. Remove the sensor located at the back of the airbox. Grab onto it firmly, twist counterclockwise, and then pull straight out. Next, the battery cover must be removed. You will need to disconnect both terminals. Start with the negative terminal first, and then finish up with the positive terminal. I did find the positive terminal was stuck on the battery, so a battery terminal puller was used here. Finally, the plastic cover can be removed and two more bolts for the airbox will be exposed. One was already missing, so there is only one that needs to be removed. There will be a plastic tab that needs to be pulled out on the engine side, then lift out the airbox. As you can see, here is the new intake. A link to this will be included in the video description. It's from gstpautoparts.com. Inside the cone filter will be a couple gear clamps along with the brackets. The intake is made from a mandrel bent aluminum tubing with a black powder coated finish. The interior diameter of this tube is 3.7 inches. This has a smooth construction and compared to the factory intake and should improve airflow. Everything appears to be very well made. The cone filter is supposed to be oiled according to their website. It seems to be dry at the moment so using a specific filter oil would be recommended after. Use the factory fastener to install the small bracket for the airbox sensor. Once installed, here's a quick view with the old air box removed and the new bracket for the sensor installed. Using an Allen wrench, remove the grub screw from the fastening point on the intake tube. Now install the intake tube to the bracket along with the supplied bolt. Don't tighten it just yet. Install the silicone adapter onto the new intake tube. Make sure it's about halfway on. Install two of the gear clamps. Make sure the screws for the gear clamps are easily accessible. Now install the silicone adapter onto the engine. You may be required to rotate the pipe to align that mounting point. Use the factory hardware to mount the bracket from the intake tube onto the stock airbox fastening point. Finally, both gear clamps can then be tightened. The bracket holding on the intake tube can now be tightened both at the intake tube and at the factory airbox mounting point. Install the air filter and tighten the gear clamp. Install that cover back onto the battery. Then install the terminals. Start with the positive terminal first and then finish up with the negative terminal. Here's a view once everything has been installed. As you can see the pipe fits nicely amongst all the components and it does clean up the engine bay quite a bit. The bottom portion of the air box does stay in place. It's still being fed air from the front through the factory ducting. Here's a quick clip with the engine running after everything is done. The truck is not driven in the winter, so unfortunately no road test can be done just yet. Surprisingly, there is no increase in engine intake noise, everything still sounds fairly quiet. New videos released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, it's a huge help to me. Leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.